So Android 5.1.1 is out and you're wondering if you want to get a newest Android smartwatch and you're still thinking is still the LG G watch worth it? Can it connect to Wi-Fi? Because LG G watch, LG G watch R and most other smartwatches don't support Wi-Fi over Android 5.1.1. So let's find out, shall we? So the LG G Watch launched in July 2014, that's when I bought it, pre-ordered it and now it's running Android 5.1.1 from 4.4 when it released. After which more elegant options came in like the Moto 360. So the new features mainly include flick to go through your notification cards so you can use your finger like that or you can just flick your wrist fast and then slow it back so it'll flick you can see it's playing spotify then steps i can always reverse flick just it's very natural and doesn't activate by accident so it's a pretty good feature also there is an addition of an app launcher which I'll show you in a moment. You can see like there is no accidental activation. Do it slowly, it's fine. So there's also an addition of this notification shade, which is now more like the material design. And the same features as the Android 5.0.2 update before, but they're now more polished and work more smoothly. Then there's this new app launcher which is very convenient because my previous both app launchers really slowed the watch down so I had to just remove them otherwise the watch would be really choppy. And then you can see there is contact list, your favorite contacts and the regular list that used to be in the previous versions on the right. And the, the experience has improved far better from when it started. The voice recognition and everything has improved vastly. Also now that Shazam is out for Android Wear, you can actually use it to recognize music wherever you listen it, which I use it a lot. And then you can also reply to text with your common replies as well as emojis now, which I'll show you just in a moment. You can just go scroll up, emojis. And you can just draw it, it will give you a hint at first, but you can draw anything you like. So, just, you know, a smiley face, there you go, it will give you suggestions, you can just scroll down and check if you're not okay with what you drew, you can try again, send it, and boom, there you go. Then, there is an addition of apps always staying on in background, which was a big issue when I used to go shopping and the shopping list always goes away and this caused me a lot of problems because launching the app again without the app launcher took a long while and now I'll just show you that it takes merely like 20 to 25 seconds to even sleep and after that it will just stay black and white not closing the app and returning to the watch face give it a moment and there you have it so you can see it's now back again but you can still see the list in black and white which I really like most other apps are also benefiting like self timer or countdown timer as you call it and stopwatch everything stays on in the background saving battery as well as being productive so that's pretty much it for this update there you have it, that's all you get with the LG G watch right now after the latest update and my verdict on this is if you don't care about your watch working when you're not using your phone or you left your phone at home, you went for a run and you still want to get notifications, it still depends on a working Wi-Fi connection. For example, you left your phone at home, went to a friend's place or school or uni and your watch will still connect to your Wi-Fi because it has your credentials synced. If that's the case, Moto 360 still works with Wi-Fi. I think the LG Watch Urbane comes with Android 5.1.1.
Although Moto 360 still works with Wi-Fi, that's the only old smartwatch that works with Wi-Fi and the Samsung Gear 5. So if you're out and out in the market and looking for smartwatches, you should go for either the Moto 360, Samsung Gear Live if you're into square smartwatches. And if you have a lot of money to spend, go with the Watch Urbane if you like the looks of it. But the LG G Watch right now is simply not worth it because I've seen after like around 9 months of use, um, getting stuttering performance, weird animations, I had to remove some apps to get the back that smooth performance and then I had to factory reset the watch. So in 2015 the LG G watch is not really worth it and I'm planning to sell it myself. To get a link to that, there will be a link in the video description just down below. Just when you're watching this video, you also check out my social networks on Instagram, Google+, Facebook and Twitter. Links will be in the description below as well as on the video in the annotations. Just follow me, hit me up on there because the YouTube comment system is not that great and it's hard to reply to even 50 people commenting on my videos. It's very confusing. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you in the next one guys.